this daily program we missed uh, almost every day last week because i i had like a crazy viral uh, infection for last uh, five days uh, yesterday i was kind of normal uh, i think this a lot of people i know are getting it it lasts anywhere between four and seven days so i i wasn't really sure what's going on around me so i think the last thing i want to do is predict where the market is going and you know people might lose money if i do that so i didn't want to i, I just want to stay away from it because i knew i was not thinking well right uh, so now let's get back to uh, the analysis um so last time we talked um we had talked about two eventualities uh, we had talked about how the middle of the channel can be a resistance um so i think the last analysis we did was on 17th uh, october and we said not sure what will happen in the middle of the channel if the dips are getting bought to then stay long with trades with rr1 if price action sustains above 9900 then we can see new all time highs but at the middle of the channel um what happened is this that we had a rise here went to the middle of the channel and then you know it did not go up right middle of the channel acted as a resistance <coughs> so <clears throat> my personal bias of course was bullishness because um, the chart looked like this so this is what the chart looked like there was a bullish hammer followed by a candle that confirmed the bullish hammer's bullishness with the bullish engulfing so it looked bullish my bias was bullish but my you know me checking my own shot was that i was not sure what will happen once it reaches the middle of the channel it reached the middle of the channel and the dip was not bought into it was a free fall after the middle of the channel and as you can see here after middle of the channel <coughs> it fell quite a bit and we had said that there are two ways in which it can pan out either it can in a bullish case scenario or in a bullish scenario it could have gone ayyo i have to sign in sorry please thank you okay so there were two ways in which this could have played out one which we had highlighted last time was if it's able to break above this line then it could have gone like this but we were also said if it middle of the channel becomes a resistance it can go 250 dma and then maybe further down right now further down the target here would be around 19000 let me just see what's the 100 day moving average at <clears throat> the 100 day moving average is somewhere around <clears throat> sorry one second 19400 is so it is possible that we can see 19400 right so the first thing we have to write is nifty can test the bottom of the channel plus 100 dma which is uh, around 19400 it now let's look at bank nifty okay now let's look at <coughs> bank nifty bank nifty looks like this is the channel it's following um, and we are drifting close to the bottom of the channel so this is old one we could see a test of 43 you know somewhere near the 50 dma 43 300 maybe we can see 43 one second let me just draw the horizontal line and get this thing clear <clears throat> are yaar sorry <laughs> uh 
I mean, 43,000 has the 50 DMA, 43,300 has the bottom of the channel. <coughs> so I'll just write it down as this. Bank Nifty drifting close to the bottom of the channel and the 50 DMA. That would be a support. But also we'll write the same thing. So this is very clear, right? Um, now let's look at weekly <coughs> chart. So weekly chart, it is still not broken the bullish hammers bottom. So weekly chart, although it's a marubozu, is not definitively hinting at anything. It's tempting to think that this is a bearish harami, but it's not. The body is too big to be called a harami. <coughs> On the bank nifty weekly chart, it doesn't really mean anything. It's a tiny candle. We'll just ignore this. <coughs> Dollar, interestingly, <coughs> has come down below. But again, right, because I think there's a lot of uncertainty in dollar because of the RBI operations. But let's look at it like a pure chartist, right? Who doesn't know anything about RBI? There is a big bearish engulfing which broke it below the channel. Then, sorry, below the trend line. Then there was a doji formed here. And now it is below the trend line. So it is very tempting to think that dollar can free fall here. But I'm not going to say it because there are multiple forces at play here. In fact, I don't even know if RBI is trying to... Let's not get into things we are not sure about simply because... I mean, it, I feel it's irresponsible because... See, nobody could have made money directionally in dollar in the last... Um, I, let me put it this way, right? Let's look at the range, right? Um, horizontal line. One is here. The other is here, right? So dollar has been in a 30 pesa range. Not sure if anybody made money in this range in the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, almost like a month here. A month it's been in a 30 pesa range. I don't think it is meaningful to trade dollar. You can't sell it because if breakout happens, you're dead. You can't buy it because directionally move is not coming. So I just think it's not worth it. If it breaks down and shows some clarity, Maybe yes, but otherwise we're just gambling, like pure gambling, right? I understand that all of uh, trading is uh, uh, in a way calculated risk taking, but it's just that, you know, <clears throat> uh, it, it, it's just that this is gambling without any kind of, you know, uh, basis. So now let's go to <coughs> opening the chart. A um, lot of calls added. But that was Friday. Uh, option chain, interestingly, is looking slightly call side heavy. It's PCR is 0 0.7. So this is calls. This is calls. So a lot of plenty of resistance. Resistance above 19... 600 actually. <clears throat> PCR is 0 0.7, that's definitely bearish. FI option data, that should be very interesting. Yeah, they bought 70,000 calls, sold, uh, bought 75,000 puts. That is definitely bearish. If that is not bearish, I don't know what is bearish. FIA futures data, 700 crore sell, that is bearish. FIA stock data, interesting. 500 crore buy. Is Registan may barish, okay. Verdict Nifty likely to test 19400 and take support there near 9400 exact jaga kisko kya pata that's not how it works right maybe it will just go to 
maybe tomorrow could be like a gap down open ekdam se it'll just open at something like 9400 and then it might go up we have to see the price action uh, if 9400 holds expect bounce back into the channel trades uh, it difficult right if tomorrow's a gap down uh, see the price action at 9400 if it breaks and i mean and can't, it, it can't be like ek bar se thoda sa break ho gaya see the thing is this right if it breaks a little bit so let's say it goes like this and it stays here don't immediately short right because that's a very big trap if you short here and then it goes back here you it will not end well the ideal way to short is if you think 9400 breaks it goes down a little bit and then it comes up a little bit and then it again will take resistance here in price action where it broke right waha pe you can short again so for example i'll give you an example for that right see look at this red candle if you wanted to short this if you had shorted on open it would have been tricky but it if you so i'll just magnify what i'm mean see let's say you wanted to play this candle right one thing you could have done is you could have shorted on day close here but if not if you shorted here it would have been trouble the better thing to do was let this open gap down let it go up a little bit yaha pe aapko second entry mila that was the ideal shot right so don't short ekdam you know jaldbazi mein see if the price action sustains right if it does not sustain tomorrow on let's say tomorrow is a gap down opening then there's no point in um, you know jumping into this trade without knowing whether the price action is stable or not so just wait and watch see the open if it goes below and then comes back into the channel this could be a buying opportunity basically this zone is going to decide everything whatever i'm going to i'm marking in you know this let me just uh, you know this is the zone of value this yellow highlight i'm doing yahan pe kuch na kuch to hoga just see what happens here see don't don't jump into trade market wahi pe rahega yaar if 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 it holds right it will go aise and hold a little bit and come back up you can always enter let's say yahan pe right you will miss 50 points but if it actually is a real genuine hold up right then you can actually ride it till 20500 or something right to matlab fal to me why jump into this trade early tomorrow morning don't try to catch the bottom absolutely here right when it is down right thoda wait karo if it is holding you are seeing good volume some intraday support is emerging some bullish hammer aa gaya intraday daily daily time frame mein any intraday time frame mein smaller time frame candle which shows bullishness is a good entry let's say you got a bullish hammer or an engulfing or a, anything right but just don't buy it as soon as you see 9400 because what it would be sakta it's not necessary that it will hold right see support and resistance work but not always if everything worked all the time why would there be a market right because then it's all too predictable so aap yahan pe wait karke we'll see what happens if it gives a buying opportunity we'll buy if it sells then we have to rethink our entire strategy but please be careful about the price action because there are multiple levels of support here one is the 100 ema one is the bottom of the channel third is that we are close to the monthly expiry so let's also look at what candle we are looking at <clears throat> yeah see at the end of the day you can see that there was a bullish candle there's a bearish engulfing but the bearish engulfing which we made actually failed the last month right because it again created a bullish candle and see the monthly chart of nifty is still looking long term bullish so maybe it's not a good idea to jump into uh this trade because it can you know it might not end the way we expect it to end right so i'll if i were you i'll just you know take a chill pill and see what happens uh and at 9400 um uh if it holds uh i mean if it holds you can technically futures with tight sl is the right trade right because we are we are looking at a target of at least this much right see i normally suggest spreads but at some point you have to think like here yahan pe ek bada sa target ban raha hai you can actually ride a target of almost like 400 i mean 1000 points if you play it right if it holds and then it tests the middle of the channel again well i mean this thing again and if it goes again 
they are almost looking at thousand points thing. Thousand points, if you are convinced of a channel trade, then there is no point in playing it with some, you know, a bull call spread or something. I'd rather play it with something big, which is like a futures or something. But if it breaks, then the free fall could also be equally scary, and we could be looking at this this level, right? The two hundred EMA or so. At this break or make level, I would be actually very tempted to play futures, right? The other thing you want to do is if you want to do really long spreads, then another interesting thing you can do, of course, is <coughs> sorry. So what I can do is I can take number, right? Number ka put spread or even call spread. Right now, look at this, right? My I'm going to buy, let's say, a 19,600 or 700. And I'll sell 20,000 ka lamba wala, right? So if not playing for like till 2300 full thing, I can at least play till the middle of the channel, right? This is one thing I can contemplate. Number ka this thing. It has a decent risk reward, 8,000 max profit, 6,000 max loss. I can even like, <coughs> sorry, 2100 also I can play. There, there are several combinations you can play, but <coughs> it's not a bad idea to, you know, throw down. Even this is a decent spread, right? 245 by 60. So it's actually giving you a 3 to 2 risk reward. So you can play several kind of spreads. This is also a spread you can play. Very minimal loss, 10,000 per lot. Good profit, 15,000 per lot, right? <coughs> and because it has so much time, in case you're wrong, like let's assume that no channel for the gap. So what will happen is it will go to 9300 or something. The moment it goes to 9300, you know that you are toasted, right? So you can get out at a very nominal loss of around 3000 rupees. So, <coughs> sorry, sorry, that's the that residual throat thing is still there. So I can play it with a, a tight stop loss and get out like this. Hey, this is one good thing I can try to play. <laughs> if 19300 400 holes one reason i didn't want to <clears throat> go live earlier was uh, it itches the throat and you start coughing so but anyway so so this is a decent idea if it uh, breaks and confirms uh Right, is that's also a very uh, possible thing you can do, right? So, anyway, this is uh, another thing we can we can try. Uh, so, yeah, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, thank you tomorrow, day, day after tomorrow, because day after tomorrow is a holiday. Uh, so, on that note, I'll take your leave. Please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.